Officials announced their ongoing efforts to capture the coyote have been hampered due to the coyote's use of product from Acme company. Acme issued a statement saying they will not, I repeat, not be issuing a statement. And now another exciting installment of fund and stare with here is our correspondent rational skeptic thank you Corey I am here uh, with the latest haul from downstairs let me share with you a few of this week's exciting items I think you will find these first two items rather timely this is a watch with a broken band. It's a tag here. And it was working at first, but now it does not seem to be. It might be worthless, and if so, we will dispose of it. Or I might just see if it will survive going inside a blender. And if it blends, I will let you know. Another timely item found downstairs, what appears to be a simple office tchotchke. This one, a clock. It is not currently functioning, although I suspect it just needs a battery. We will replace the battery and keep this lovely little, very heavy stainless steel clock. If you're having trouble seeing some of these items, the next item will be quite helpful. Another useless desk tchotchke. This one, a pirate scope. Shiver me timbers, I think I see land. It's from a company called Serono, the next hundred years. No doubt a very expensive executive tool or toy given out on the occasion of a 100th anniversary at a company with which I am not familiar. Next, a Wi-Fi Finder Plus from Kensington. I know some of you cynics in the audience will think, surely I just purchased this. It's still in its original indestructible packaging. However, this is how we found it downstairs. Perhaps it was discarded because the owner was not able to actually open the indestructible packaging. I fear I might have the same ability. After all, we know what happened last week, don't we? Finally, this next item, perhaps the simplest but most fun, a simple pencil with happy face on it. This could be from the latest blockbuster movie, The Watchmen. Those of you that are familiar with the story will know that if it was, it should have some blood right here. But I think there is a significant quality problem on this item. And the item is, if you can see, the happy faces on the pencil have their tongues sticking out. Can you see that? But the happy face on the eraser does not, I repeat, does not have his tongue sticking out. Perhaps this is why this item was discarded due to its inconsistency. Oh wait, there's more. Last but not least, this is a, dis a curio display. I'm going to put my Star Trek paraphernalia into this. I will put my Picard items on this side and my Kirk items on this side. And if an ensuing war should break out, we will finally answer the question, who is the better strategist and commander, Picard or Kirk? I will let you know. 
is it. I now take you back to the studio with Karina. Corey, back to you. Oh, thank you for that report. And by the way, how is your neck? I'm sorry? My neck? I, I don't understand the question. I... You know your neck? That I know you have a neck bracelet? So, neck? I, I'm not quite sure I understand the question. Back to you, Corey.